This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late June and of course we have access to the Mighty Hind, which is going to bring lots of questions from you guys, the valued viewers. The first request is actually from the boys, which is some of the GR boys have asked these questions. Question, how high can the Hind fly? With two setups, one empty, so you know a record attempt type deal, and two mission ready with fuel and stores ready for a mission or carrying cargo. Also, secondly, can you get hypoxia? Hypoxia is modelled in DCS, you can get it in some choppers, but this one, of course, is a sealed cockpit and it is pressurised. Not pressurised so that it can go to high altitude, it's pressurised for, you know, chemical warfare reasons. But it'll be interesting to see if hypoxia will now not be modelled because it is pressurised. Some of our older videos we will we'll be redoing because we've got access to the hind now. The first one is this. Do helicopters freeze at very low temperatures? To get those low temperatures was by sending them really high. So this doubled up as what is the maximum altitude of the helicopters. We've got gazelle here becoming hypoxic at 26,500 feet. ASL. So we managed to get a gazelle up to 26,000 feet. Is that realistic? I don't know, but that's what we managed to do. We're going to try that for the hind. The second piece of information is interesting. This is on an MI8 attack that we did. Just listen to this. The dedicated helicopter gunships of the IAF were not able to operate effectively in the rarefied air of the Kargil sector. Service ceiling of heavy-duty gunship helicopter Mi-35 was limited to 10,000 feet, while the occupied heights at Kargil were at 15,000. In a first of its kind, a decision was taken by the IAF to convert its troop-carrying workhorse, the Mi-17 helicopter, into an attack gunship. It was the only IAF helicopter capable of operating between 10 to 18,000 feet with some manner of ordnance. We've already done this and we went and did the attack with the Mi-17. A Mi-17 is an Mi-8 by the way, it's just an export version name. The Mi-35 is just the Mi-24 hind, just the export name. Otherwise, as far as I'm aware, pretty much identical for what we're doing today. It said that the hind with ordnance could not get above 10,000 feet, but the Mi-8 could get all the way up to 18,000 feet. We tested it and technically it just could, but it really was skating on ice. We had almost no air to gain lift. Now this seems odd because if you go to just layman's website like Wikipedia, if I type MI24 in, it says that we can go up to 16,000 feet service ceiling. And the MI8, it says up to 16,000 feet ceiling as well. So it says they should be the same altitude according to Wikipedia. This video here says that there should be pretty much a factor of two difference. So we're going to see which is right. So first test RC, if we've got a completely stripped out hind. Everything that we can remove is removed. Bullets or shells are removed. Countermeasures are removed. Fuel is removed down to fumes and we've turned the fuel burn off. It will give us our absolute maximum altitude. We're going to say how high we can go in this setup and whether we become hypoxic at that altitude. Off you go in your own time. You can see the game bar at the bottom, Valley viewers. We're starting at 13,000 feet because we want to save time, obviously. We don't want to be mucking around at 2,000 feet. Okay, first impressions are... I'm in ground effect at the moment. I'm out of ground effect. And I've got lift. I've got real-life lift. I think I'm really working the engine. My collective is almost full. And I'm just rising, but I'm rising. Right, do whatever you've got to do. I'm getting, so uh foggy on the panel. The value viewers, the way to get a chopper in the high is to move it forwards. Just realise I'm not actually really going up. I'm going to try even more collective angle of attack. The collective, you can see that gauge there in degrees angle of attack of the blades. I'm tempted to put the throttles fully forward, although no, that's not that's not operational uh, doctrine, is it? No, which you're, unless you're in an emergency. Yeah, because really. they will burn the engines out. Coming up to 14,000 feet, valid viewers. And whoops, gear's still out, and she feels relatively comfortable. What uh, blade collective angle are you using? 12. I've got the 13. It's about 7, aren't they? Yes, sir. Um, in fact, don't worry about circling. Just go straight forward. doesn't matter where you end up. That's, that's uh, not good. And it's going to give us maximum lift, isn't it? I was going around in a circle, but that's strange our lift vectors. So that's a stupid idea. Okay, first warning lights come on. It is brake. And it's gone off again. Something saying push rate. I was exceeding our push rate. Best way to solve an uh, warning light is to ignore it or put some sellotape over it. Just passing through 15. Yep, 15,000 feet. 
So already, again, this is an unloaded one and we'll try unloaded, but already it's a massively powerful helicopter this is. It's, uh, let me think, to uh, 4,500 short shaft horsepower, I think, which is you know, it's a lot of horsepower and, um, but it's a heavy chopper. It's a heavy attack cargo helicopter at 20,000 pounds net fully stripped out. Fully, this is fully stripped out. When we come and do our operational weight, we'll be adding 5,000 pounds at 25,000 pounds. And we've gone through 16. I've gone through 16. Oh, wow. Well. What a beast. Look at that. So it's handling the weight, to be honest, absolutely beautifully. I'm keeping my fan off, value viewers. I need all my amps. 17,000 feet, 13 degrees angle of attack on the blades. 13,500 feet. Got it trimmed, absolutely beautiful here. Well. It seems, I mean, this is a Papa version. I don't know what version they had on Wikipedia. But are we going to be going for a record is the next question. Uh, like we were saying earlier, you can actually get the engines to run higher power, but I don't think it's normal operational doctrine to do that. So, you know, it'd be a, an emergency situation. So I don't think we should do that. 18 and a half thousand feet. Where are you at? Uh, just heard through 18. That's what I see there, by the way. I was, my pitch was 12 for most of the time, and then when I came to 17, it started uh, needing more uh -huh. in, uh, input. I'm going to push up my collective all the way to the top and see what happens. Oh. You can stall the, well, not stall the blaze, but yeah. you can become less efficient. I'm going to try it. Oh, the lift. The lift is something chronic. I'm using my lift right now. Is there a tur Is there an engine kind of... Um, Power. I don't want to over overdo the turbines. Can't see any engine. Oh, there it is. You have your RPMs. Yeah. Yeah. And your EGTs. So. Okay, my engines have actually gone down. My engine RPM's gone down as I push the rotor angle of attack. Yeah, because up. you're taking too big. You're taking big swipes out of the air. When yeah. You're slow and everything. Okay. Down. Okay. I'm coming back on the uh, collective. So it turns out, value is a bit like a warbird. There's only so much you can work those blades before they actually become less efficient at a certain in a certain environment so I'm now coming down on the collective as you can see the collective needle and I'm actually gaining more altitude never fully really understood how that worked to be honest but just experiment and find out what's optimal what have you found is optimal right now it seems to be right above 13 well yeah that's where I'm at but I am running out of airspeed and as soon as that airspeed goes valid viewers we're gonna lose lift so I'm pretty much topping out at 20. Yeah, I'm going down now. I'm going down because I'm losing too much speed. It's about balancing your forward speed with your collective and your, you know, and your VVI. And I can't get any higher. I'm eking above it, but I'm going to burn off my speed. I'm almost certain. I just came up over 19.5. Yeah, I'm just over 19.5. I can't get much higher though. She's, she wants to fall out the sky. Yeah, it's the same. Which is amazing, really. And I'm not hypoxic in any way. Uh, I'm gonna actually depressurize just to see if I get hypoxic. Okay, I can't get any higher than 19 and a half thousand. I'm gonna depressurize the cockpit now. How, how do I do that? I'll say I move the wheel forward, don't I? Yeah. Okay. So that says doors on the I'm depressurized. I might even try and open the door if I can. <laughs> oh, I don't think man. it'll be open. No, it doesn't, does it? Now, hypoxia is, you know, it's it's not just on or off. You just you slowly get more hypoxic as you get higher technically starts to kick in at about 14,000 on the average human body and by you know mid 20s you're pretty much unconscious um, depending on your physiology and you know whatnot. And I'm yeah, 19 and a half. 19, 7, 5. Well done. And now I can't feet? hold it. No so you see so you peaking there. I'm definitely not hypoxic I'm, I, I'm in a non-sealed cockpit so I guess for DCS 19,000 isn't hypoxic and remember the, the gazelle didn't get hypoxic until 26,000 feet. Right, RC, that answers our first question. Maximum altitude, 19,750 ASL. Right, RC, we must not waste the value viewer's um, time. So this is what we would call maximum operational weight of the MIE 24. If you go any more, it's above maximum operational weight. You can get it heavier, but you know, you've got to then start taking fuel out and stuff like that to, to make it go. So this is going to be a different story, RC. Um, and we're going to see if it could have operated in, in the cargo hills at kind of 12 to 14,000 feet. A lot of the cargo drops were, were being done. 
Um, we're not going to do cargo drops because it's, to be honest, too hard to do up here. We're going to take the equivalent weight of fuel and stores, which takes us up to 25,000 pounds. So when you're ready, value divisors are saying that some of the aircraft don't have hypoxia modeled. So that's a, it looks like it's a um, aircraft specific thing, which is a bit disappointing, but that, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. This is Make sure you do run. Make sure you do run up here. It was just released, so... Oh, <laughs> you almost... No, I didn't. I didn't. So, there's a lot of stuff that won't be modeled that like that yet. Already struggling massively. I'm falling out of the sky right I'm falling now. out of the sky. Gotta get that forward motion. Push. I'm um, sacrificing some altitude to get some speed in. Um, 130 clicks per hour. That's where I found optimal for the previous test. So, I'm going to stay at 130. I'm going to stay at um, Blades. Collective, 13 degrees angle of attack, because that's what I found optimal last time. It may change with different weights, but you know, we don't have any schedules uh, in the manual yet, so. Airspeed's starting to burn off now. Nearly 14 and a half thousand feet, but I am losing my airspeed. 13 and a half. I dropped a lot of altitude initially. 15,000 feet, 25,000 pounds. Yeah, I can't get up. up. I'm going to top at 16,000. Uh-oh, I've lost control of it. Oh, dear. I think I got too slow. Someone got too slow. I'm going to VRS yeah. or something. VRS no, not VRS. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... I think I just lost my lip in the blades. I am topping out 16,000. I'm going to try and break 16,000. I'm probably just going to do it. As you can see... My trade-off for airspeed is getting me horribly close to a lack of lift. Just broke 16,000, and I don't think we're going a great deal further, valued viewers. Okay, that's it. 16, uh, zero eight. So, we Let's just do some stunts. Another one I'm going to try at some point is, can you chop your tail off? Um, the valued viewers have asked if you can chop your tail off. Apparently, this happened a few times. IRL. I'm going to... Oh, can you eject? Can we eject? Let's see if we can eject. Oh, there's no eject. Oh. Wow, so you are going down... You are going down in a coffin, basically. All right. Well, if we're going down, we're going down with a fan on, Valley Views. I can't get to it. Too much G-Force. Boom. Let's review our seat with absolute minimal weight in the... Th oh, it's a lovely sight. Look at that. With absolutely minimal weight, we could get... Uh, was it 18,750 you got? Yep. Fully operational weight, which is the most you'd ever do, really, if you were trying to go high. We got s just over 16,000, which shows that the uh, the Indian movie is kind of not correct, really, because they could have got all the way up to 16,000. Anything to add, RC? Nope. Bye-bye.